Today I will be doing experiments number 6 and 7. To do experiments number 6 and 7, you need safety glasses, test tubes, the test tube holder, the test tube stand, your measuring spoon, the alcohol burner, table salt, ammonium chloride, along with the chemical vial lid opener. To open the ammonium chloride, slide the lid opener into the slit on the top and carefully pry it open. This is a very difficult process, so you will probably need adult assistance for this. To begin, measure two spoonfuls of ammonium chloride into the clean, dry test tube. Be sure to clean your measuring spoon in between chemicals. To close the chemical vial, just press the lid firmly on. Next, measure two spoonfuls of table salt into the test tube. Then stir these together very thoroughly. If you take a look at this mixture, you will notice that you cannot just separate it like the sand and salt mixture from experiment number three. For this reason, we are going to heat it over the alcohol burner. So turn on your exhaust fan or open windows and then light your alcohol burner. Now we are noticing some white fog forming and white residue along the sides of the test tube. This process is called sublimation, when a solid goes directly from the solid state to a gas state. And then the white residue forming on the sides of the test tube is caused by desublimation, which is when a gas goes from the gas state directly to a solid state without becoming liquid first. So if we take a look at the bottom of the test tube, we notice that there's one white substance down there and one along the edges. The table salt appears to be the one in the bottom and the ammonium chloride appears to be along the sides. For this next step, carefully pour out the table salt from the bottom of the test tube into a container to dispose of. Now for experiment number seven. Carefully scrape all the white residue from the sides of the test tube into a second clean, dry test tube. This process is very slow, so it may take several minutes. Next, heat this residue over the alcohol burner, but remember to have your exhaust fan on or the windows open. So now we are noticing white fog forming and the white residue is again forming on the sides of the test tube. However, this time there is no remaining substance in the bottom of the test tube. For this next part of experiment number seven, we are going to prove that the white residue from experiment number six was the ammonium chloride and not the table saw or a combination of both. To do this, measure one small spoonful of ammonium chloride into a clean dry test tube and heat it over your alcohol burner. We are beginning to see white fog again and white residue forming on the sides of the test tube, thus proving that 
The re white residue from experiment number six was the ammonium chloride. There is no residue in the bottom of the test tube, so we know for sure that it's ammonium chloride. To dispose properly of the ammonium chloride, refer to your science book. Thanks for watching.